Hi, it's George. So in this video, I want to answer the question, how do I remember what I want to say in videos? That's a question that I got from one of you viewers. Thank you for that. Um, so first of all, I just give you some context. I've made f more than 400 videos in the past three years. And most of those videos, I haven't used any notes. Uh, as you've noticed, I haven't done any editing except for after I make the video, I upload it to YouTube. I use YouTube's enhancement features. There's, it's free and it can adjust the lighting of it. It can make it more stabilized if I'm walking. It's, it, there's a button that stabilizes the video. It's all free on YouTube. Uh, so I typically upload the video to YouTube, use those free enhancement features, and then after it's processed, I download that and then upload it to Facebook so it's, it's the edited version. But in terms of my own content, I don't edit. I just talk, and then what you see is what you get. I do sometimes take up to, up to three takes um, so that by the third take, I've practiced saying something a few times so that it's a bit more polished. But polish is something that I... I'm trying not to do in my regular ongoing videos for a couple reasons. One is that if I gave myself the pressure to make my ongoing videos polished, it is, well, it's, it's, the, it's the kind of pressure that I don't want for myself and I don't think it's sustainable for my ongoing joyful creation of videos. So that's actually an important question to ask yourself is, are you, giving yourself too much pressure when you make videos. You know, the way I think about it is this is not the only video I'm going to make in my lifetime. You know, this is not even the only video I'm going to make this week, right? Um, I'm going to make thousands more videos maybe in my, in my, in my career. Uh, and so I don't worry about any one video. And uh, as I mentioned, I don't typically use notes in my video, I don't typically refer to notes or try to memorize things. And that's the other, that's another important thing is when I come into videos that I'm making on a regular basis, I just think of what's the one idea that I want to convey in the video. What's that one idea? And then I talk about that one idea and whatever happens to come to mind is I talk about that one idea. I don't try to make any one of my videos complete, nor do I try to be totally accurate and precise about what I'm saying. Because I think completeness and preciseness are better when I'm writing instead of on video. So what's the purpose of video? The purpose of video, in my opinion, for me, is to show my emotions. That's much harder to do in writing, right? The purpose of video is for you to feel my presence, to feel my energy, not to get the exact precise ideas from me because that can be done in writing and that's better done in writing. But if you feel my energy, if you connect with my energy and feel aligned with um, how I'm coming across, that's gone a long way into, you know, building trust, building a relationship, seeing what I'm about. Uh, and so then, therefore, you may then decide to read my things if you want to. Now, as I mentioned, I don't typically use notes in the video, but I want to show you if I were to use notes in my videos, what would it look like? And so I've put, I've actually, this video is more, actually more, even though it's a live video, one single take, it's actually more polished in ideas than most of my other videos because I already wrote a blog post this morning, which you can see in the link of the notes up here. I already, made, I already wrote a whole blog post this morning about what I'm gonna say, and so I literally just finished the blog post. So of course, having spent an hour writing it, I'm much clearer about what I'm gonna say without even referring to the notes. But let me, let me now show you, if I were making a longer video and I want to refer to notes, here's what I would do. So um, as I've mentioned, you know, one idea in a video is better than trying to memorize a bunch of ideas because you're giving yourself too much pressure and you are uh, also coming across as maybe acting or 
it's not as authentic when you try to memorize a lot of things. Now, it is also true that what I'm saying is for ongoing videos that you do on a regular basis to build your authentic brand, to build your kindred spirit audience, rather than rather than the occasional marketing video that you put on your homepage or that you're introducing a particular program or a service or whatever. Those need to be much more polished. The, the occasional marketing videos, which you'll see on my homepage, georgecow.com, those are I those I do, I, I practice, I, I script it out, I practice it, I memorize it, I try it, I do as many takes as needed to get it just right. But those only happen once every couple of months, maybe. Okay? I'm talking about the ongoing videos that I make three times a week or however many you make to build my brand, to build my audience of true fans. Those I put a lot less pressure on myself, right? Um Another important idea is uh, you can make your videos shorter. This one is going on longer because, as I mentioned, to show you what it's like to refer to notes, I'm making this video longer and saying more. <clears throat> but to give yourself less pressure and to just talk about the one idea, you can make your videos short. My videos on, the, on my dog walks are usually you know, three to five minutes. I think about that one idea and then whatever comes around, around it, I talk about it. But you can make your videos as short as a minute or even less if you wanted to, right? Less than one minute is sometimes good because then you can upload that. You can upload your videos to Instagram. Instagram only has min, min, uh, videos up, up to one minute, right? And let's see. Um, the other thing is to say what's true. And by the way, as you can hopefully know by now, I'm referring back to, down to my notes. If you're doing that, on your videos, you don't have to mention to the audience, oh, I'm going to refer to my notes now. You could just, you could just kind of look down and look back up quickly. This is what speakers do. You've seen speakers do it all the time. Now, the thing about speakers is that they typically show you that they're looking at notes, right? So you can literally put some notes on, you know, on, on some, on some cards, right? And, and just kind of, kind of like, you don't have to m mention the cards, but just kind of, kind of say, so the other thing I want to say is blah, 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 right? And then, and then the other point I want to make is, you know, so it kind of comes into the view a little bit so people know that you're referring to notes, which in a longer video can be more respectful. They know that you're trying to make sure you, you convey all the points and things like that. So for me, you know, I, I use my phone. So um, uh, say what's true. This is, this is another important tip, which is if you find yourself stumbling and not, not sure what you're trying to say, Maybe you're not talking about your real experience because if you're telling a friend a story about, about what happened to you, you don't go, well, let me see what else I want to say about, you know, it, you're just telling a story, right? Or you're talking about something you helped a client with. You just talk about what you helped your client with, right? Or you're, or you're talking about something you've been thinking about a lot. You just talk about what you've been thinking about a lot rather than trying to say, well, I need to cover X, Y, Z points in this, in this video right now. And therefore I got, you know, say what's true, say what's, what's real, what you're, what you're passionate about, what you're genuinely feeling is important to convey. And that's it. That's all you need to say in that video. And then the next video, you say one thing that's true. And the next video, you say one thing that's true. So that, so give yourself a lot less pressure. And I guess, um, I guess the only thing, the, the last thing I'll say is that I keep my errors in my video. I keep my stumbles, et cetera, in my video. You'll notice, I mean, my, none of my videos are perfect, but it's the consistency of it that builds trust and that builds my brand over time. It's not the perfection of any one video, right? Um, I guess there is one last tip, which is, you might want to try doing Facebook Live or YouTube Live videos um, because you only have one take. And somehow, when we only have one take, we just naturally show up with more energy and with less perfectionism. It's, uh, I've heard this, um, somebody who does a lot of cold calling in his business, I was talking to him, I don't do cold calling, but this person does. And I said, well, how do you do it? How do you, how do you just, it's, isn't that scary? Is it, he says, there's a magic to it. When you do cold calling, 
when you, the hardest part is picking up the phone and dialing. But once you pick up the phone and dial and the person says hello, something kicks in. There's some magical energy, something you kind of channel almost here. The same thing with live videos. When you press record and you're going live and you know that you have that one take, something happens that naturally comes over you and you just happen to say it with just more authenticity and less takes and less perfectionism than if you were to pre-record things. So you might want to try that to kind of hack your perfectionism about video. So anyway, that's enough for now. I hope this has been helpful. I've written a whole article. You can click on the the link uh, in the in the notes of the video um, if you want to read the whole thing. So be well. I hope you will be inspired to do video if you've been intrigued by it. It really is the best medium to build an audience with, in my opinion, build an audience of true fans because you can't convey energy and presence and emotion in any way better than, except for in-person speaking. The next best thing is webinars or videos, right? So, um, all right, have a great rest of your day. Blessings.